Right. Well, I guess I should start off by sending a, an apology to all of the American light cruiser captains out there that found that clip disrespectful. However, I guess I should say thank you to all of the British battleship captains out there that probably thought that, that was the best thing ever. I'm not going to lie. I loved it. You love to see it. You just do. Um, and they'll teach those Americans to have stupid ideas, like declare independence, or sail broadside to battleships. <laughs> Although I guess he wasn't really sailing broadside, it looked like he beached himself on the rock, and then just happened to be caught with his pants caught down in front of uh, 380 millimeter guns. But... Oh wait, no, they're 381 millimeters, aren't they? I think they're 381 millimeters. Oh well, that extra millimeter makes a difference. Alright, so. I guess to make up for that uh, act of treason, we're going to start off with something American today. This is the Tier 5 Speed Demon American Battleship, the New Mexico. I say Speed Demon, uh, it's actually the slowest tier 5 battleship. Uh, no, wait, hold on, what's, what's the new tier 5 battleship? Is it the Tennessee? I think it's the Tennessee. That one might be slightly slower, I'm not sure. I have to check up on that. Usually I, I'm pretty good with the stats of ships, but uh, I haven't really played the new American battleships, or really given them a thought. So, I'll admit, my uh, knowledge of them is very iffy. All they do, they do carry a similar playstyle than the main American tech tree drip, uh, branch. They are very slow, not particularly well armored, but with some seriously big guns. Except for the North Carolina. Uh, I feel like that's the pinnacle of the new American battleship line. Faster than its predecessors and its successor, if I'm not mistaken. And the guns are more accurate. So if you plan on playing the new American tech tree line, North Carolina's probably going to entice you to stop a lot more than the Kansas. Ooh, here's another American battleship, the Arizona. He is angled, although the Koenig is angled too, so neither of these are good shots. But the Koenig is closer, so yeah. Armor piercing into the superstructure, minimal damage, not an ideal target. Ooh, Arizona showing broadside. No? There's a Gaida somewhere on the other side of that island too, I think that's what I was looking over there for. Hoping the fair gets on top of that. Meanwhile, it looks like we're lining up for a salvo at the Arizona. Shots out, and... Okay, damage. Reset the cap. Oh, there's the Gaida. Looks like the ferry gets on top of that. Thank you, sir. That's going to make my life a lot easier. So now we're two ships down to two. Oh, all right, never mind. Three ships down to two. And we've just lost our second cap. 
third cap is being contested. Shots out to the Arizona again. Uh, bounces. Interesting. It looks like that that angle is flat enough to penetrate. I guess not. Arizona is a pretty good ship, though. Although its armor is not where it shines. Its torpedo damage reduction, on the other hand, is quite good for its tier. And we've just lost another ship. Oh, and we've just lost another ship. Holy shit, we suck this game. We're being forced back by this American-German offensive. The Farragut's making his way around, though, to slip into the cap and hopefully get torpedoes on these guys. I have no choice but to keep reversing. Shots at the Arizona once again. The dispersion on these shells are not good at all. Not good. Um, I believe these guns are 15 inches in caliber. No, 14 inches in caliber, excuse me. Um, there are 12 of them. Reload's not particularly good. Over 30 seconds. Just like the Ismail at tier 5 as well. Although you do get 12 of these 45 cal. Ooh! Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Farragut does a wonderful job of finishing that off. Uh, you do get 12 of these shots. They're 45 calibers long each, which means muzzle velocity isn't particularly good. They do take some time to get to the target. And we're in a bit of a conundrum now. The Koenig has moved towards a central location. Ooh, good hit. Another good hit. Um, and to keep all of the guns on him, I have angled inward. Although I think I've angled a bit too much. Actually, that could have been a lot worse. So the Koenig is moving across a central position of the map. Farragut is neglecting the cap for whatever reason, I don't know. I have a New Mexico, and I believe that's a Queen Elizabeth. Not far away from him. So we're not in a favorable position. Koenig is moving in. Looks like he's going for the ram. Ah, shit. Kamikaze. I was just thinking about where that kamikaze was. Alright, so there are definitely kamikaze torpedoes on the way. So we're going to take out the Koenig. Excellent. And we're going to move behind the wreck of the Koenig, there we go, to shield us from any kamikaze torpedoes. And the Koenig's wreckage actually does catch one, so that's good. We're going to cut the throttle, turn inward, to avoid these torpedoes, uh, almost, okay. So out of six torpedoes, we only took one. It's not bad. I would have liked to have taken none, but you gotta take what you can get some time. So the fair gets busy capping, and it looks like he's going to be getting into a gunfight with the kamikaze here pretty soon. We are now 4v4, so we've taken back a few ca- ah, oh, fuck, alright. 3v4, Farragut eats torpedo from the kamikaze. Shots out to the New Mexico, as soon as the co- Ooh, can I survive this? Okay. Shots out to the New Mexico. Good hit. I wish I had saved it for the Koenig instead, who was giving me flat broadside. Um, blown through my last heal though, so that's not 
good. And I am in a crossfire between the New Mexico, the Koenig, and there are likely kamikaze torpedoes coming at me. Oh, I don't think I'm going to survive this. Oh! High caliber. Alright, yeah, there's... Okay, yeah, 500 health. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Uh, kamikaze... Sh oh, okay, well... It was the New Mexico that finished me off, but I was gonna say, <laughs> even kamikaze high explosive at this point uh, will finish me off. So, 2v4. We are down about 500 points and two caps. And we have a Fabuki getting into a gunfight with a Pensacola. Uh, right. And his torpedoes have missed. Let me, let me just go back on that. A Fabuki trying to get into a gunfight with a Pensacola. For those of you that cannot comprehend how stupid that is, that is the equivalent of Lionel Messi getting into a Duncan contest with Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. Now, Leo, Leo Messi's good with his feet. One of the greatest footballers around, but... even he knows his strengths. Oh, well. Uh, I'm sure that won't come to bite him in the ass. He's popped his smokescreen and dipped out of there. New Mexico set on fire twice by the Pensacola. The Pensacola is on extremely low health. Looks like he's swinging his guns around. Can he take him out? Here we go. And unfortunately, the Pensacola sets a triple fire and he has... Oh! Oh! Alright, never mind. Okay. I thought the New Mexico was dead there. This damage control comes off cooldown right in the, in the nick of time. I wonder if you have any heals left. I don't think he does. So with 1500 health, a Kamikaze, New Mexico, and a Koenig, unless he's sufficiently angled, uh, he will die in this next salvo. Unless it's high explosive, then he'll probably die regardless. Because high explosive doesn't care about angle. High Explosive only cares about the armor thickness that the shell comes in contact with. One-sixth of the caliber, usually. Unless you are Japanese, then you have one-fifth. Uh, or unless you're German, in which case you get one-fourth for any caliber that's 150 millimeters or less. Uh, it looks like Torpedo... yeah. Uh, I was gonna say maybe torpedo beats are due for me to uh, edit in right here, but that gap was not big enough for a New Mexico to uh, maneuver through. So it's a Fubuki versus a Kamikaze, a Koenig, and a New Mexico. The Fubuki can win this. Uh, uh, well, actually, no. I lied. Fubuki can't win this. He doesn't even have enough time for his torpedoes to reach the target before the enemy team reaches a thousand points. Oh, well, maybe they could. They could sink the New Mexico. And that will buy him some time to cap B. And then he can move on to A. Of course, the Kamikaze is... Oh, nope, the Kamikaze, yep, was moving to capture C, but he just made a U-turn once the Fubuki got spotted by the New Mexico spot... Oh, ooh. Ah, yeah. Made a U-turn once he saw the cap was being flipped and the Fubuki got spotted by the New Mexico's fighter plane. And that is a loss. 108,000 damage. High caliber, top of the leaderboard. 
What a shame. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you next time. Peace.